what's up my fabulous love bug goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen well honey child today i'm showing you how to make the meanest smoked turkey collard greens in your crock pot slow cooker fast easy and simple so where you wait pan make me jump right into the recipe then now uh. you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from rest of our eye eye why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need okay goody let's get started with our recipe now i have my collard greens right there and we're going to make sure that we wash this collard green thoroughly right i'm going to show you only wash my one you might have your way off of it but i'm going to show you only wash mine now that stem right here sometimes i always just throw it in my blender blend it up and sweeten it with honey and lemon and all them things there right i make a mean juice with that stem there now i'm going to rinse it or wash it or whatever you want but it with cold running water because guess what you have to make sure say so wash your collard green real good because half the time or 90% of the time there's the dirt on the on the leaves sometimes you might find a little bugs on there too bugs like snails and all them thing that yes yes honey mm, caterpillar yes whatever so I'm going to wash mine now oh, I wash mine right I always get some salt and when I get the salt sprinkle on the leaves because in my head meeting the salt I always get rid of all that dirt that build up on it I look for the leaves them that don't make any sense and take them out then I fill up the thing with water and let it sit for about a good hour one hour later I'm gonna go in I'm gonna rinse it off again and in the bottom of it always have dirt that's come from off the leaf trust me they be hiding they be hiding good eh? so make sure say so give it a thorough wash like wash 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 rinse 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 and even after you get done doing that before you start cutting it check every single leaf that there is no bugs hidden but when i talk about you, you know what kind of bug man you don't look at out that the word leaf yeah thing just make sure you check them that there is nothing hiding on it and your um thing will be ready and nice i'm taking them taking my time and just wash it off really really good and make sure that there's no suspects on that thing you know what I, mean? I said yes now after me get done washing my collard greens the way that I choose to wash it I go ahead and cut it into my desired pieces and I always like to make things fast easy and simple when I'm cooking so this is how I do it I start cutting I bend it of course into two equal parts then I go in and cut into my desired pieces as I go along though every time I kind of get to the end I get it on top of the greens that I already cut and cut into it again so that means my bottom vegetables is getting cut again small than the original size right but make it your own good some people like things big some people like things small some people like things medium I just like whatever I like so this is what your girl is doing at the end of the day your greens are all clean and cut into your desired pieces that you like before you move on to your next step can we gonna make this thing fast easy and simple now this is my um, smoke turkey of choice I'm using turkey drumsticks and turkey wings I have some pieces left over from one while so we're going to just combine everything together now you could use neck bone use whatever pork neck bone chicken neck bone fish neck bone you know yeah yeah any kind of neck bone with anything where you want you go ahead and use it but this is what I'm using to make my my color greens and my cook kitchen fast is and simple you're going to give it a nice little rinse as well everything you give it a nice little rinse before you go ahead this is going to give it so much flavor so much flavor may i tell you talk to me nice now what i'm doing here i'm going to give it extra added flavors i have some leftover bacon strip and i have some turkey bacon strip as well and we're going to cut them up and put them inside of the slow cooker because you know we are going slow cooker style because that's what you requested we're going to cook this thing in the slow cooker and it's going to be oh so good yes oh so good now to the recipe you're going to need a really 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 big very big onion and a couple of cloves of garlic enough garlic are the better the thing i got taste 
but make sure so you go and chop chop up them garlic there into really 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 fine fine pieces now if you don't want to go this route just go ahead and get you some minced garlic it's gonna cut time but this is the way that your girl is going to go and yes now the size of your onion is really 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 important you don't want to mince out the onion you want the onion to have a nice little size when you put it into your veggies when you put it in a slow cooker now one thing i must tell you guys because somebody did ask me that i must show you this right here since we're talking about onion when you peel your onion you want to take off the first two layer of skin because that two layer right there is very tough so you never ever ever want to put those two layers of the onion skin into into your your thing because it's always hard peel it off right so now i'm going to make chunks of with the onion so you don't want to make it definitely too big and you definitely want to don't make it small so right in the center right in the middle we are going to do this thing and here I'm using a very 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 large onion now I think I use about eight cloves of garlic I did add a lot of garlic to it so like I said try to put enough garlic in it because the more garlic you add to this thing is the better it will taste good it will taste so good so massively good this is a recipe that will give you a wedding proposal for the other day right wedding proposal even at the hubby and the wife yet a wedding proposal they're gonna get talked to me nice yeah Mm -hmm. now in your slow cooker you want to go ahead and add the collard greens first upon the bottom and just tuck it down just take it on and just press it down right just like so very fast and very easy. Make sure you make this thing a real, 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 real simple. Now, when you get done doing that, right, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your smoked turkey or any kind of meat of your choice and put it in the middle. You're going to just center it. Just like so. You know, if it be neat or anything like that, because you are going to put all your veggies and stuff in the middle meaning your onion and all of that stuff your um no like i went ahead and this is optional but it is flavorful when you put it in there i did add the the bacon strips the turkey bacon strip and the pork bacon strip go ahead and just put it just layer it anyway anyway drop and make it stay right there so anyway fall make it stay because it's going to be flavorful so basically you're going to have the collard greens at the bottom the meat and all of other things are right in the middle then you add your onions all over that thing there so it's like a sandwich right we're making a sandwich and then you go ahead and add all your chop you're so much up you're so much garlic may i put this up because garlic is going to make it turn all the way up so let's go ahead and just lay your garlic anyway it fall you make it stay now you want to go ahead and sandwich it so you go in and put some more of that collard greens on top of that thing honey yeah now after I did that to say this I went in with a stick of butter you just don't want to throw the butter all up in there goody you're gonna go ahead and make slices with the butter and I am using unsalted butter so I went in and just kind of slice it up and put it all over because I want to make sure when this thing melt in my so cooker it melt on the meat along everything else now I'm gonna show you a little thing that I do when I'm doing this in a slow cooker in a container I go ahead and add my season of choice my season of choice is combo seasoning all-purpose seasoning some garlic powder right and my onion powder so you want to add like a tablespoon of each of these things black pepper and of course you want to add some salt to the mix as well right that's what you want to do now go ahead and add some crushed red pepper to it if you don't want to use crushed red pepper use some um, cayenne pepper chili powder or even some hot scotch bonnet pepper mix it in well and to that you're going to add some chicken broth or beef broth or vegetable broth any kind of broth of a choice you go ahead and add it in and i did add two cups of the beef broth in that something there 
beef broth I use. Chicken broth, beef broth, any kind of broth, 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 broth. It's all the same. Go ahead and use it. Don't use water though because it's going to take away from your flavor, all right? Now you want to go ahead and just take your broth and just pour it all over your vegetables. Just like that. And cover it up. And you're going to let it cook for six hours unbuttered. Now, goody, make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and make sure that your notifications are on because YouTube be messing with your notifications. So make sure so you check it. Now, while after you're done doing that, go ahead and check out my recipes, the ones that you have asked for, and somewhere in the afternoon, this random recipe that I'll be putting up. And I hope that you find them interesting, fast, easy, and simple to follow. Now, while you're doing that, make sure that you have, in fact, checked out my other channel, Life of Juliana, my inspirational video, Dollar Tree DIY, our blogs and more. Now, my vegan goodies, the recipes are over there. There is no more vegan recipes here. You asked me to separate the two and your girl here and your girl listen. So may I separate them. So make sure to say subscribe. Now on that channel, you are going to find a whole lot of story time videos and they are coming. Thank you for the love and support. And guess what? I love you guys so, 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 so much. Right now, six hours later after I leave my thing unbuttered, this is what it looks like. As you can see, six, six hours later, there is nothing I'm gonna touch nothing everything is just like when I covered it so that's six hours of cooking and let me tell you something talk to me nice yeah cause the thing turn up loud hmm. let me tell you something good eh? this year recipe I get me all emotional because guess what the thing tender the meat all a fall off for the bone we are talk say Huh. No, look at this. Look at this. You see when time is dig in at it with the thing right so the something just fall apart. It was so tender. When you talk about meat fall off of the bone, yeah? Meat fall off of the bone. The thing was so tender. Oh my god, it never even need no assistance. That's how tender this thing is. When you talk about smell, when you talk about flavorful, it was filled with so much flavor. This oh my god, in the slow cooker, my slow cooker is magic. My, everything in your slow cooker, go there. Let me tell you something. This color green recipe for thanksgiving set it and forget it when you when, when you remember it that's when your color green are done you don't have to do nothing once you put it in your slow cooker and when you go back six hours later go check it you have perfect color greens and smoked whatever that is going to fall off the bone the smell is amazing and the flavor is amazing. Everybody will be happy. You have some teasers inside the car. Remember, I put some uh, bacon strips and turkey bacon strips in there and the thing gave it so, so much extra added flavor. Look at that, boo. Look at that. Look at that. This thing right here is one of the best holiday recipe that I ever made inside of my slow cooker. Give it a try guys. Let me know how you like the recipe. Share the recipes on your social media with your friends and your family and the neighbors. Like everybody where I want to share it in, right? Now, tell me what you like to have me cooking next in my kitchen. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy!